You aren't the brightest fellow, are you, Mr. Lester? Come now, why, pal? Everyone has their talents. You're an exceptionally clever thief. I'll grant you that. In the 50 years Fenwickle's Museum of Magic has been in business, I've never been robbed. Until you. What's the phrase you hoodlums use? Ah, uh, casing the joint? You performed that task quite admirably. So many innocent questions. How's business, Miss Fenwickle? What's your favourite item, Miss Fenwickle? Your ring of luck? Is it really magic, Miss Fenwickle? Careless I was. Probably relying too much on my ring, eh? But as I explained, given even odds, it only increases one's luck from 50% to around 66%. Still, the difference is appreciable. Even you could envision the benefits of being two-thirds lucky. So you returned tonight, avoided every obstacle in the showroom reached my upstairs bedroom and slipped the ring off my finger. You certainly demonstrated your talents at thievery, Mr. Lester. One might even say you were lucky as you crept off wearing your ill-gotten gain. Your luck increased. You disagree. But it's true. Ah, I understand your confusion. Although you correctly assumed that by wearing the ring, all your chances immediately improved to 66%. You also assumed ring of luck meant a ring of good luck. Really, Mr. Lester? Everyone knows luck comes in two flavours. Before one puts on the ring, the odds are 50-50 that one's bad luck will improve rather than good. Thus, in my museum, in the dark, your chances of stumbling across various objects increase to 66%. And, as you've discovered, Mr. Lester, my guillotine displays a hundred percent real.